Good morning. This is Ty with AL RV in Jackson, Tennessee. Today we're going to check out this 2023 Cougar fifth wheel. Check out that profile. This is a 354 FLS, so front living. Fifth wheel. We're coming in at around 39 feet in length. We're just over 11,000 pounds dry weight, at least here. Always check your dry weight per unit, too. Just like with a car or truck, options can make differences, okay? Check out that full profile. Let's get into it. So with the 2023 Cougars, you're going to see that they've begun to change their cap, their height, and that general profile. And I'm really loving it. I think it's a really bold and aggressive look just to the silhouette versus what you can see right next to it with the 2022s. And in this 354 FLS front living, especially this size unit, there's a lot of extras. So just starting to come around, you're gonna see all the normal Keystone upgrades, road armor, upgraded shackles, automotive front cap, or automotive painted front cap, let me rephrase. We're gonna see some swim tech. You're still gonna see your textured slides in your 23s. And that is on purpose so that your slide seals come out correctly. Good amount of storage up front. Still two 30 pound propane tanks. And still enclosed and accessible controls and extras. With Keystone, you have solar on top. You're gonna to have auto leveling. All our solar charge controllers have their own cutoff with the Gigi box being separate for your cutoff for your rest of your battery. This particular unit does have a lithium battery installed. And that should be standard going forward. Key TV is in place as well. And again, all your controls and hookups are going to be in one central location, right? Is that not awesome? Small things build up over time when you're looking at a fifth wheel covered hinges. All of our heat elements are on the roadside and look how they kept this side as clear and clean as possible. Another upgrade for the 23s, on-demand hot water. As long as you have propane and you have water, you're going to have hot water. Fresh fill. We're riding on Goodyear Endurance. There's that Road Armor shackle. There's an upgrade, and then our auto level, it's going to be a four point. A unit like this, definitely going to be fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Keystone would not skimp in that regard. Long unit, 39 feet, gets you right under your maximums for a lot of parks. So keep that in mind, depending on how you're planning to camp. Backup camera prep. Walkable roof. And with it being a front living, let me show you our storage at the rear. So our storage at the rear is not only ample, but they went ahead and traded it for us. So full rolling tray to access all of that back rear storage. Slim latches on that back door. And we do have a receiver. Gonna finish off the rear. Should be another 300 pound rated receiver. More ride right tray. Just love that they're doing this more and more and more. Coming around to our campsite, the important side, <clears throat> you're gonna see that large over the top awning. And we not only have a single set of flip down solid steps from Lippert. But two, see with it being four, you're going to have plenty of clearance from the road. Now, front living is going to max out how many slides we have. So two opposing up front, one at the rear, one mid on our campsite. So keep in mind how you use your space outside. If you spend a lot of outdoors, out, <laughs> outside time with family versus really using that front living setup, 
you might need to adjust just because of that single awning. I kind of wish they would have split that front back. One more time, 2023 Cougar 354 FLS. You're going to see that climate guard. You're going to see that 200 watt solar package already pre-installed as a standard from Keystone. And when we step up directly into the kitchen with a ton of cabinetry reaching almost to our tall ceiling. So right off the bat, solid counters, not a lamination, double residential stainless with a pull down. There's our controls for our on-demand hot water. This is also a heater for our front lithium battery to help maintain three burner stove combo microwave above and in these cougars you're gonna have solid wood front cabinetry the cougar loves to play in that middle ground and it fits so many people because of that 12 volt furion fridge if you've heard any of my other videos you're gonna know this is a big upgrade just to be able to run it while you're going down the road. Look at all that cabinetry. Our upgraded ACs, in this case, two. You swap that out with the regular 12 inch residential filter and actually have clean air. Our opposing slide in the kitchen, gonna be our four seat dinette. No carpet, all insulated, closed off. So our front living, that's the whole point of this particular floor plan, is at the front. Two step up, takes us into opposing couches, and then our entertainment center at the, at the front cap, that is going to be on a lift, the TV, so the TV can come down to expose that front windshield, fireplace beneath, and our couches are going to pull out into double sleeping too so you slip up to four in the front theater seats notice the privacy curtain if you do have people here sleeping and close them off to the front and I love the mid tones too that cooker is still keeping so it's a little bit darker than what you're gonna see in a lot so that country chic all white they're kind of mixing it up, splitting that space. Especially when you look at the kitchen being more white, you're gonna know where each space begins and ends, right? So coming back through, our second back door is in place because our slide on our dinette and in our kitchen is gonna limit our ability to really get through the unit so you can get through the rear a lot easier. Our full bath is at the rear. Still a good amount of space considering this is splitting this hallway. Two piece shower surround. They did go ahead and put a tall cabinet for some people that won't be as usable as others. Skylight. Honestly, if you're if you are a six eight plus person, this would probably be a really good idea. To put you in a unit like this because if you can tell how high that ceiling height profile goes over that shower and shower is just a standard height you'll see in an RV that is pretty amazing our rear bed as most Cougars are it's gonna be a king if you option for a queen you're gonna have more walk around space as I mentioned just a second ago if you're on the larger side just taller, bigger person trying to get into an RV. You might want to do that just to have the space to walk around. Our rear slide is going to be our closet space, wardrobe space. With mirrors and pull out drawers. Nicely finished off. So full hanging all the way down. No dividers here. And then along at the back, we do have a louvered set of doors. That's gonna house our washer and dryer. My only complaint is I wish they would have taken a little bit of space from the kitchen 
and giving it back to this bedroom just to make it a little bit more accessible for those that are going to really utilize a space like this. Because again, king size bed, we do have storage underneath. But that one, say eight inches, would make a huge difference in the workability of that room. It's a rear bed. Bath off our main hull. Our on-demand system is still in place. Control your lights, your slides, your awnings. But a huge kitchen in front living. I mean, a really big kitchen with a ton of cabinetry. And Cougar always has a ton of upgrades overall. So let's go through them. So Cougar, in my opinion, has always been known for having a lot of mid-level finishes. But that's good. If you're not going to be spending a ton of time in your camper every single year, why are you going to pay all that extra for upgraded luxury finishes when you can have this that's just one little step down from most of those luxuries and end up with a camper that's fully loaded, that's huge, plenty of space and every year they keep adding more and more to it we have a better profile this year a little bit taller unit on demand hot water heater lithium battery all the stuff that keystone is developing too still going into your cougar units so all these things that we want to have they're already there plus some for a slight little change versus say what a montana would be so I'm going to throw that at you guys. Let me know what you think on this particular unit. This 354 FLS Cougar. See you guys next time. Appreciate you watching. Give me a comment. Give me a like and a subscribe.